Hi, in this video of Inkpot, we now start doing the fair allocation questions. When we do the fair allocation questions, we have to obviously keep our theory in our head. And like I mentioned in the last video, please do the questions from the assignment for welfare maximization before you do fair allocation. Otherwise, it will be too many concepts together and you may get confused. The first numerical that we do is a simple one. We are, we are given that A's and B's usually function are the same, which is X squared plus Y squared. We are supposed to find out the points of fair allocation. So when I say it's X squared plus Y squared, I hope you understand for A it's UA is equal to XA squared plus YA squared and we say the similar thing is for B. All right. Let's for us uh, sake of, for the sake of ease, let's assume a square box. All right, so the first thing we should do is figure out Pareto efficiency. So when you have a square box, A's functions are like this and B's functions are like this. So from the looks of it, you can figure out where will be the point of Pareto efficiency. Now this th the Pareto efficiency is something I expect you guys to do on your own. What I can do is I can give you the answer. So the Pareto efficiency will actually exist at all the four sides. So the entire inside is not Pareto efficient but all the entire boundary is Pareto efficient. How, how do I achieve this conclusion? You should try and figure out on your own in case you're not able to then you can actually go through the assignment and use the chat window to ask us the query. The second thing that you need to figure out is the clause of no NV. Is the clause of no NV. Now, no NV can be done a variety of ways. It can be done in a the diagrammatic way. It can be done in a numerical way. I want to start with the diagrammatic way. It's the easiest one. All right. So, I'm saying these four sides are the sides of Pareto efficiency. I know. Baki inside ka to mein fara ke nahi bata na. Hum to bahar ka dekhenge. Ab is bahar ke andar, agar A or B ka utility function same hai, then I don't have to actually swap the bundles. I know that if B is getting higher utility, then A will be envious because A's utility function is exactly same as B's. So any time, let me let me divide it into half. This x into half. Any time A jo hai, uske pas uske pas middle point se kam hai, to B ke pas middle point se zada hoga. Then A will be envious of B because A has less than less of something which he wants more of, and B has more of that thing. So automatically, जब वो more A के पास आ जाएगा तो A की utility बढ़ जाएगी ना. So any time you're less than half, then B is A is going to be envious of B, and there on the other side it's going to be a vice versa. If that point is too difficult for you to imagine, then you could imagine another thing. You could start with the centermost point. You see, the centermost point of a box is never, never envious because the centermost point of the box is where A and B both have half of each. So if A is here and B is here, and let's suppose I have a square box, so I have a 10, 10 box. The centermost point is where A has 5, comma 5 and B also has 5, comma 5. So there's no envy here, right? There's no envy here. Let's let's try and do four points around it. हम ये चार पॉइंट्स को हिट एंड ट्रायल करेंगे ना हमें पता लग जाएगा लेट्स ट्राई एंड डू द फोर पॉइंट्स अराउंड इट हमें पता है इस पॉइंट पे लाइक लेट्स सपोज यू गो फ्रॉम हियर एंड यू गो फर्दर डाउन हियर एट दिस पर्टिकुलर पॉइंट ए के पास गुड बाय थोड़ा कम है ना बी के पास थोड़ा ज्यादा है अब ए और बी का अगर यूटिलिटी फंक्शन सेम है तो ए के पास अगर कोई चीज कम है तो वो बी को एनवी करेगा ना क्योंकि बी के पास ज्यादा है सो दिस पॉइंट के नॉट बी पॉइंट ऑफ नो एनवी and this similarly here this point also cannot be a point of no NB. So the way I told you about the center point, think about this particular diagonal. ये वाली जो diagonal होती है ना, इस diagonal पे अगर एक unit एक गुट का कम हो रहा है, तो दूसरे गुट का वो ही एक unit बढ़ रहा है. Which is why in most cases this diagonal is the diagonal of no NB. And in our case, in this particular case, it also fits perfectly. This actually is the line of no NB. Although I don't care about the points inside, but I'm just giving you this hint for the future references of the questions you do in the assignments, not in the video, but in the assignment, that ye wali jo line hai na, it's a good starting point. Ab aap dekho, isme se mai pas ye do point nikal ke aate hai, jo no NB ke hamare liye relevant hai. Kyunki Pareto efficiency to in dono points pe hai na. So let's check these two points. At this point, A has 10, 0 and B has 0, 10. So A's utility from his bundle is 100 and A's utility from B's bundle is also 100 because 10 square plus 0 square is 100 and 0 square plus 10 square is also 100 which means A is not envious of B and similarly B will also not be envious of A. So yes, this point is the point of fair allocation. 
परेटो एफिशिएंसी ऑलरेडी थी मैंने फेयर एलोकेशन प्रूव कर दिया इस पॉइंट पे भी दिस बी अ पॉइंट ऑफ फेयर एलोकेशन सो इन द होल बॉक्स दैट वी मेक परेटो एफिशिएंसी जहां मर्जी हो नो एनवी जहां मर्जी हो सो परेटो एफिशिएंसी चारों कॉर्नर्स पे है नो एनवी पूरी लाइन पे है हमारे पास फेयर एलोकेशन के सिर्फ दो पॉइंट्स निकलेंगे दीज टू पॉइंट्स विल बी दिस कॉर्नर and this corner and this i got strictly from hit and trial maine koi numerical nahi use kiya in the next question however which is this question we are going to use the numerical way we are going to use the numerical way so in this question i'm going to start with no and b only so i'm going to say that for a to not nv b for a to not nv b UA from A's bundle has to be greater than UA from B's bundle. So UA from X A Y A should be greater than UA from X B Y B, or equal to also for that matter. So this is 2 X A plus Y A should be greater than equal to 2 X B plus Y B. माइंड यू मैंने फंक्शन जो यूज किया है वो ए का यूज किया है लेकिन जो बंडल यूज किया है वो बी का किया है राइट सो टू एक्स ए प्लस वाई ए इज इक्वल टू इज इज ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू टू एक्स बी प्लस वाई बी विच इज नथिंग बट आई कैन रिप्लेस दिस बीज विच ट्वेल्व माइनस एक्स ए दर इज टू एक्स ए प्लस वाई ए इज ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू टू इन टू ट्वेल्व माइनस एक्स ए प्लस ट्वेल्व माइनस एक्स is 2x a plus y a is greater than equal to 24 minus 2x a plus 12 minus y a which comes out to be 2x a plus y a is greater than equal to 18 so if i draw a 12 comma 12 square box and if you remember your linear programming a little bit as well i can plot this and when i'm plotting it i want you guys to be a little careful and hear me out slowly let's take the equal to sign when i put y a to be 0 x a comes out to be 9 which is this point right here matlab agar ye pura agar ye pura 12 hai to ye wala point kya hoga 9 when i put x a to be 0 y a comes out to be 18 ab main y a ko to 18 nahi le sakti kyunki mere paas to threshold hai 12 ka isliye main y a ko एक्स ए को जीरो डालने के बजाय वट आई डू इज आई पुट वाई ए टू बी अ मैक्सिम ऑफ ट्वेल्व क्योंकि मेरे पास जो मैक्सिम वाई ए है वो तो ट्वेल्व ही है इफ आई पुट अ मैक्सिम ऑफ वाई ए टू बी ट्वेल्व देन एक्स ए कम्स आउट टू बी थ्री विच मीन्स दिस पॉइंट राइट हियर दिस पॉइंट राइट हियर दिस पॉइंट फॉर ए इज थ्री कॉम आर ट्वेल्व सो वेन यू ज्वाइन दीज टू लाइन दिस इज रिप्रेजेंटिंग दिस लाइन इक्वेशन विद अ स्ट्रेट वन Now, when it's greater than, you take the origin. For example, so is zero comma zero greater than equal to eighteen? No. This means the origin will not be a part of it. It means the area we need to shade is literally the opposite area. So this shaded area is the area where A does not nv B. Now we do the same exercise, but we say that for B to not nv A. You understand? Now we are doing for B to not nv A. We will do the same thing. V will not end the A if B's utility from his own bundle is greater than equal to B's utility from A's bundle. So when you solve this, you get the equation to be x B plus two y B is greater than equal to eighteen. And when you plot it, I'll take another shade. When you plot it, it comes out to be like this, and this is the shaded area of B. And you can practice it. So you get. You get this area. You get this area, which is the area of mutual no NV. Now all I have to do is figure out the Pareto efficiency. Collate the two areas, and I'm done. Then look, let's look at Pareto efficiency. Now Pareto efficiency again, we've done it before, so I would expect you to come to the result on your own. Pareto efficiency happens here and here. So if Pareto efficiency happens here and here, then this line. and this line which is your this line and this line this point being 9 comma 0 for a and this point being 0 comma 9 for b all right so these two lines becomes the line of fair allocation these two lines become the line of fair 
allocation. All right, please go through this calculation one more time. Pause the video, do it yourself, then come back in again and see it. Then pause the video, do it again. You'll have to do it two, three times to get the hang of it really. But the method is quite simple. So you'll get the hang of it, but you will just need to practice it a little bit. So do it two, three times before you move to the next question. So the next question we do is, we have to find fair allocation given that A's bundle is a Cobb Douglas and B's uh, function is also a Cobb Douglas. We are given that A's and B's endowment are 12, 2 and B's endowment is 8, 18. So the total again is a square box, it's a 20, 20 box. But we are supposed to find out the fair allocation. So firstly for fair allocation, we know that we need to find out the Pareto efficiency. Pareto efficiency you can take I'm not again going to Pareto efficiency. Pareto efficiency you guys can take out and this is the line of Pareto efficiency. This is the line of Pareto efficiency. And this is the line of Pareto efficiency. You can take this out. The other thing you have to figure out is to figure out no NV. Ki. No NV, I have told you straightly that always take this opposite diagonal, diagonal to be the line of no NV. This will be your starting point where you have not perfect substitutes. When you have perfect substitutes, then you will have no NV ke liye numerical use. If you have not perfect substitutes, then you can come straight You can just straight away do this. And if you want to prove it numerically, then in this particular question at least you can. How? You say that obviously for A, I will again say that for A to not NV B, for A to not NV B, UA from A's bundle has to be greater than UA from B's bundle, which means XA Y A has to be greater than or equal to XB Y B. So XA Y A has to be greater than or equal to 20 minus XA into 20 minus XB. If you solve this, you get 400 minus 20 XA minus 20 XB plus XA Y X XA uh, XA sorry this is not yb xb this is ya uh, xya so you take it to the other side and you solve it you'll get an equation so you can do this equation the other equation solve it together you'll get the same line equation but again my recommendation please do not get into the numerical solve it solve it by hit and trial but for the people who do want to do it by numerical let's finish the numerical so xa by a is greater than or equal to 400 minus 20 XA minus 20 YA plus XA YA. Now this and this gets cancelled and I'll take it up and solve it here. So which means I get 20 XA plus 20 YA to be greater than equal to 400 which is nothing but XA plus YA to be greater than equal to 20. That's the equation. So that's the equation. If you draw, you get this line. So obviously 0, 0 nahi hai, A ki no NV ka region ye banega. So this is the region for A's no NV and this will become the region for B's no NV. So if you want to take the overlap, the overlap will only happen on this particular line, which is why this line will become the line of no NV, which is what we said in the initial this thing by hit and trial. But obviously hit and trial will take time. You'll get there slowly. So you can take it so long. You can take it numerically so long. You're not able to build your intuition to that level. So this is the last question. Although this question is not technically a fair allocation question, I wanted to do this to make sure that you're free to do your assignments. So we are given UA as a Cobb Douglas, UB as a Cobb Douglas with their individual endowments. It says that government thinks that this bundle is more equitable. Whether it is or isn't, we don't care. Government thinks it is more equitable. We have to show that this is Pareto optimal. We know that in two Cobb Douglas functions, Pareto optimality and Pareto efficiency exists at tangency. So we have to prove that it is a tangency point. Tangency के लिए पहले हम MRS को A को figure out करते हैं. MRS of A is YA upon XA which is nothing but 140 upon 3 into 80 which is 140 upon 240 which is 7 upon 12. Right? So if I, if I divide by 20, 20 both sides, it's 7 by 12. MRS of B is going to be YB upon 2xb, you can figure that out from the function, 
right which is going to be 700 by 3 into 2 into 200 right which is nothing but 700 upon 1200 which is again 7 by 12 since 7 by 12 is equal to 7 by 12 that's why it is Pareto optimal because MRS of A is equal to MRS of B ho gaya na? Agar MRS of A is equal to MRS of B hai to hume hape kya nikalna hai? Hume hape nikalna hai P price price is obviously price jo hum logo ne second alpha theorem kiya tha usme humne bola tha na ki sare Pareto option point equilibrium hote hain so to we have figured कि इन दोनों की जो टेंजेंसी है जो पॉइंट ऑफ टेंजेंसी है यहां पे स्लोप 7 by 12 है तो अगर मैं यहां पे एक लाइन डालूंगी बीच में तो उसका स्लोप क्या होगा ऑफ कोर्स 7 by 12 बिकॉज़ दैट पॉइंट दैट लाइन इज गोइंग टू पास टू द टेंजेंसी ना सो टेंजेंसी पे अगर वो पास करेगी तो स्लोप तो तीनों का सेम ही हो जाएगा ना व्हिच इज 7 by 12 so this is where we pay end here. Obviously, there's going to be much, much, many more complex elements to it, which we are going to be doing in the assignments. Once you do the assignment, you should look at the solution video of the assignments to be more clear about what we are going to do, what you have to do in a variety of questions. After this uh, unit, the next unit we start with the is with the market structures. All right. Thank you.